estimates have shown that there is more carbon in wetlands than there is in the entire world's forests combined. So we want to have a better understanding of what's happening to that carbon, how it's working, how the carbon cycle is working in those environments, and how perhaps we can learn how to conserve and manage those carbon stores for the future. What we're not seeing in management and policies is how wetlands are being conserved or how wetland environments can be best looked after to mitigate um, climate change and potentially be a carbon sink, so absorb carbon from the atmosphere and maintain that carbon in the soils. So this project wants to understand the, what's happening, the relationship between um, carbon and our soils and climate change. So what we're looking at is we're going to be looking at um, carbon coming out of the soils through respiration, which is uh, great now because we've got a brand new piece of equipment sponsored by Parasol Foundation and the university to be able to do that with. And we're also going to be looking at sort of how much carbon is already in those soils and sort of provide an estimate of carbon stores. The idea and what would be fantastic is that we're able to get some published material from this. We're able to publish some papers and perhaps in some level influence management and policies and uh, government management of these environments. So what we aim to do is we've got five different sites set up in Donyana National Park and we're working with the... Um, the team there as well and my supervisors from the UK and Gibraltar. We have five collars essentially, sort of PVC collars like that, um, if you can imagine sort of like a plumbing supply and those will go into the ground at different sites and then the, what this piece of kit does is that we can take it to each um, collar in the ground and we can put it there and it will flush gas through and it's an infrared gas analyzer so what that means is that basically in trying to say quite simple terms it will push the air coming off the soil through it and we'll be able to measure how much sort of carbon particles there are before it exits the, mach the machine and we do another site. And then we'll be able to see how that fluctuates, how that differs um, across different soil types and different vegetation types and um, different p parts of the year as well. So we hope to go out next year and do it perhaps more in a dry season uh, when the ground is much drier, the water table is much lower and, and see what's happening then as well. We're incredibly proud of the work that Tasman is doing. I mean, um, uh, thanks to uh, also the support of the Paris uh, Foundation. Um, the, uh, essentially, the world, as we've been talking about, is is in, in the grip of a, a severe climate crisis. And, but we need to know what is happening. We need to understand the systems. It's, it's vitally important that we uh, undertake research that can then inform policy and then public action, etc. So Tasman is one of 23 students in our PhD programme and uh, we're looking at a whole range of different things. In her particular case, it's particularly important and I think it's especially great that you have someone from here, from Gibraltar, doing research, which isn't just about Gibraltar but has also got a potential for a global outreach and importance. So this is a piece of equipment that um, we have purchased. As you can say, it's an EGM-5 CO2 analyzer. So basically what will happen is this is a, a chamber and those um, collars that I mentioned earlier will go into the soil and this chamber will sit on top and will be attached to the um, portable device here. And essentially we'll be flushing gas in and out and we'll be able to read how, how the soil is essentially breathing. Um, so that's what we hope to do in December. Uh, myself and my local supervisor, Dr. Keith and Susan, who's been an absolute great support because Don um, Keith really knows the landscape and connections in Donyana National Park, so he's been a huge support. Uh, Professor, and, uh, Professor Stephen Tooth will also be joining us, so it's a good team going out.